Hello comrades and welcome to the promised Victoria 2 uh, let's play that I've been saying I've been gonna do for a month but you know things got busy anyway so the most requested country by quite a large margin was Russia in second place we had I combined Moldova and Wallachia just because I mean it was generally people who wanted to see it turned into Romania so with that I just combined them into one they came in second place uh, Greece um, Greece Prussia and Mexico all came in third that's right so a lot of people wanted to see like Greece become powerful and then make like a powerful state out of that a lot of people wanted to see like Prussia or Bavaria turned into Germany uh, a lot of people actually also wanted to see like Norway and whatnot honestly there was like you know there was like a hundred comments or so on that video so it was kind of tough to figure out exactly what would be the best way to go so uh, but it was pretty clear that most people voted on having Russia be the country of choice so we have indeed picked Russia and uh, Russia's kind of uh, not really difficult to play per se uh, but because of the massive landmass you know there's a lot of places that they can be dragged into wars or whatnot so we're gonna try to avoid that <laughs> as best as humanly possible we're gonna fix our administration we're gonna start taxing more because right now we are losing a lot of money and I'm not happy about that um, what else are we doing? Our military spending is pretty high. Honestly, I'm going to lower it because as far as I'm concerned, we don't really need a military right now. And we need to we need to let this this money kick in. Okay, so it's still whew, that is crippling debt right there, son. Ooh, goodness gracious. Um hmm. We're spending we we must be subsidizing the piss out of our factories if we have any oh we don't even have any factories so that's probably what is we're sitting there importing a lot of really expensive goods I imagine yeah yeah you can see spending on land units oh yeah that's definitely it our military is crippling us right now that's no bueno no bueno so yeah we're just gonna have to buckle that down a good deal bring down how much we're paying on Navy um, we're gonna have to raise taxes a bit more especially on the poor and the rich in the middle all that good stuff let's see how much that brings us to alright so we're almost making a positive balance almost so we'll just raise the taxes on the rich a bit more raise the taxes on the poor a bit more and there we go boom alright so we've got our, ba our budget balanced um, it's not ideal, but at least we're not like hemorrhaging money um, and having a little bit weaker of a military is not too big of a concern for me. I'm more concerned with uh, economic stabilization building us up very powerful first and then after we do that uh, we can worry about things like the military like improving our military power and so on. Let's see if there's any special projects no, none? Okay. Well, we could try to build our own factories, couldn't we? Oh, no, 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 no. What what kind of... Uh, what kind of party are we? Slavophile? So I guess that's... We only intervene when needed. Okay, we can invest in projects and so on. We probably need to research various things. Residency, jingoism, uh, protectionism. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, I might be more interested in jumping on to state capitalism where I can just build everything myself. Let the farmers keep some. Let's keep, stay on the good side of the farmers. That's my, my philosophy. Yes, yes. What does Russia need to do? Restore the academia? Okay, what is actually, yeah sure, UK. I don't mind. You can march your troops through my land. We want to stay on good terms with the UK. No, no reason to piss them off, right? All right. So we basically have negative navy uh, tech research. So I don't really care so much about that. Uh, Prussia wants to march through our lands too. That's actually fine, surprisingly enough. So 
it seems like there's not too much going on right now. As per usual, generally when you start out this game, you're just doing troop movements and that type of stuff. There's no enemy I'm really gunning for. Um, Russia already has so much land that war is a bit unnecessary, if you ask me. And as long, as long as, you know, the population continues to grow, I'm pretty much happy in that respect. Uh, so, underground printing press. Uh, uh, shut it down. Yeah, shut it down. Alright, allows the railroad. Okay. So, we've got experimental railroad. We thus can build a railroad. It won't be till the early railroad that we can actually build a level of it, I think. Uh, mechanical production. So what do we want to do? We could do mechanical production. It gives us a lot of innovations here on the right. Hmm. Our inventions, same thing. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Particular, particular. Uh, the stock exchange, administration efficiency, late classical theory. Hmm. I don't know, we could go with clean coal and mechanical production into changeable parts. I don't really have uh, something I'm aiming for this early. It's just, it's a bit too early for me to really know exactly what I want. Um, we could do positivism. <laughs> Get more education, faster research. That's always a good way to go. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that and just kind of let um, time pass by. Again, playing as Russia, you're not strapped for anything. Like, you start out as one of the most powerful countries in the world. You have plenty of power as far as it's concerned. And I mean, like, my military is large. I'm not concerned about it. And, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, no, Pushkin dies. Oh, this is a tragic day in Russia. What is, what is it, just more upper house rearranging crap? Alright, good. So basically, nothing's happening. <laughs> Time is just passing by. And the fears of Bavaria. Start a detail on the Chile with Württemberg. Yes, Lubikian stuff complete. Yes, France stands with us. Yes, all things Russian. Okay, cool. So me and Russia are good buddies. Oh, look. We actually got an alliance offer from France. Of course, France. I will stand beside you, but I imagine this is how bad things happen, so we must be wary, dear Russian people, we must be wary, not to get dragged into any wars that we have nothing to do with. <laughs> you know, the bad thing about playing Russia, too, is, uh, like, if you actually have a lot of rebels, it's kind of a bitch to <laughs> deal with them. So that's something we need to keep in mind as well. Alright, so we finished researching positivism. Uh, so we get a little bit of a bonus to our research points that we are actually getting. Um, from there, we could do, we could make our army better, but I'm not too concerned about going to war with anyone. I guess that's how it always starts, right? Is you're not concerned about war, and then you go to war. So, <laughs> we're going to research mechanical production to unlock more factories. Because, honestly, industrialization is my primary concern as the, the czar of Russia. That's right. I'm far more interested in actually bringing in investors and whatnot, and getting some actual uh, uh, production going here. What I'm thinking I'm going to start out with is getting a factory... Actually, you know what? I'm going to start building railroads. Not wait on these people. Just build railroads everywhere, baby. Russia's got the bank account. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, looking sexy with all that money. That's right. So we are about to sit here and drop some serious moolah on building these railroads and getting this done. Because it's better to have railroads than not have railroads at all, right? Right? That's my philosophy. Oh, it seems the Dred Scott case happened today. Yes, that was a was a good good case, good case, good good time, good, good time, very very pivotal moment, and uh, what? Make the policies, mitigate the policies slightly. Eh, why not? Get us some research points. Not much, not many, but I don't care. We're actually, our the way our government's set up right now is our people are very are losing militancy, and uh, they're actually. I don't know if they're gaining consciousness. No, they're losing consciousness. So we are fine. We are perfectly fine. 
as far as I'm concerned, in terms of, you know, civil unrest, which is surprising for such a large country over such an expansive area. It's always been an interesting concept that Russia has been able to keep its shit together, you know what I mean? Like, you know, aside from the Russian Revolution, right? But, you know, for the rest of its history, you know, it's, it's done a pretty good job of keeping things under control for being such an expansive, large empire spread out over such a huge, diverse group of ethnic peoples. Crazy, very interesting, very interesting stuff, man. Alright, so we've got mechanical production now, and we have a whole boatload of things we can now research down there that I'm excited to get. Um, hmm, practical steam engine, clean coal, early railroad. Early railroad might be a good way to go, or we could get pit coal and coke. Um, what other culture stuff do we have here? Oh, a bunch of consciousness enough stuff. Yes, yes, I'm not too, not too fond of all that. I don't really care about prestige. I'm more influenced by factories and that type of stuff. So let's get freedom of trade. That should be a good place to start. Gets us luxury clothes, factories, and whatnot. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be real good. Boom, major discovery. And see, look, our railroads are actually starting to expand all over the place. And they're getting finished, so... Yeah, that's right. That's right. Look at those sexy, sexy Russian railroads spreading out like an intricate web of awesome. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Russia is industrializing every little bit of the way. It may take a while, and I may have to do a lot of clicking, but by God, we will expand this great nation into the one of the most powerful powers in the world, despite already being one of the most powerful powers in the world. That's right. Yeah. Posturing boisterous statements and epic shows of force. That's how the Commissar Bro does business. Oh yeah. That's right. <laughs> this just at least that's how I've done it for the past like three years. It seems to work pretty well for me. <laughs> Ooh, increase our opinion with Sweden. Seems like a good idea. Go to diplomacy. Yes, of course we will do that. Increase opinion. You love me, Sweden. Yes, you do. Second War of the Pacific. American liberation of Oklahoma. They are joined by the Central States, and they're fighting Mexico and Colombia. Actually, that'll be interesting. Let's go look at that. Oh, my. <laughs> Mexico has actually uh, taken some land there. Interesting. Oh, so I still own Alaska. That's right, and I'm not selling it to the Americans. I'll keep it for myself. That's right. There's oil. I know there's oil there. The, poor, the Russians back then may not have, but I know now. Damn you. <laughs> that shit is mine. Mine, my own, and my precious. Seriously, I need to build some factories, because I'm, like, falling behind here. Boom. Freedom of trade. We got freedom of trade. Phenomenal. All right, so what else do we need to do? Organized factories. By the way, in the comments section of this video, uh, when it's uploaded, that is, feel free to post, like, if you have suggestions on how I should play or things I should do, feel free to let me know. You know, I'm, um, I'm always learning. Every game I play, I'm learning new stuff, and I'm always more than willing to update my play style. So, yeah, uh, if you, if you want to assist the Kamisa in conquering the world as Russia, then uh, just let me know. That's right. Anyway, this seems like as good a place of any to end our first little episode here. Our first foray into Victoria 2 as Russia. Russia. The Russian Empire. As whatever czar or person was in charge at this time. I imagine it was Catherine, wasn't it? Or is this, this must be like right after uh, Catherine happened or something like that. Anyway, this has been Kamiya Sabro. And I'll see all you beautiful people next time.